Hi, I'm Doug, and I'm super excited to get a chance to tell you about the Warship Guitar Book, which is now available from Hal Leonard. I like to think of this book as a collection of blueprints for building healthier, happier, more productive worship musicians who are growing in their capacity to look inward as they track their own spiritual development, look around them in terms of how they can better serve their teams, and ultimately look upward as they come together with a congregation to corporately worship God through music. The book itself is broken down into five main areas that really reflect the type and range of questions people have asked me over the past five years as I've had the opportunity to work with individual worship musicians, worship pastors, worship teams, doing multi-site worship team training, and getting a chance to speak at conferences. The first section is called Framing the Conversation, and it's really about unpacking why we do what we do when we do it. And I really believe the more a team can have a common language around these things, the more effectively and faster they're going to be able to realize the vision for worship that the worship pastor has, as well as the senior pastor. The next section is called The Basics, and was originally designed specifically for beginners, to take them from the point of view like, oh, that's a tuning gear, to literally being able to play over the backing tracks with open position major and minor chords, fast tracking them towards becoming intermediate players. Now, the other thing that's great about this is if you are an intermediate player, it allows you to kind of backtrack and kind of go, okay, yeah, I need to know all those things. Okay, cool, I've got them. And perhaps even more importantly, it's a tremendous resource for worship pastors or worship leaders to be able to go, okay, you know, I've got guitar players that are here, here, and here. I want to take this person and get them a little bit further up the scale here. I want to test them and see if they know these things. Okay, I've got a copy of it. Hey, why don't you go out and get a copy of the book, and I want you to go over these particular things, and then we're going to get together and see how it's going. It really is a great tool for being able to get everybody on the team closer to the same level. Super valuable. The next section is called the meat and potatoes and really reflects the things that I learned about scale singing and ear training in the San Francisco Boys Chorus, kind of coupled with the things I learned studying with Joe Satriani for three and a half years, all blended in with all the things that I've learned playing worship music. And ultimately, it's a custom-tailored worship guitar method that I'm super excited about. It literally takes you from bar chords to triad chords to seven chords, to pentatonic scales, to modes, to scale singing, literally being able to interval sing the different modes so you can hear an MP3, pick out an interval, and literally come over to your guitar and play it. Great stuff. The next section is all about the gear and kind of looks at things individually as well as how you put them together in a signal chain. Really starting with something as basic as like, hey, you know what? If you're an acoustic player, you're going to want to have a tuner with some sort of DI. That way you can show up, be in tune, and sure, you're going to get into the PA sounding great. It also takes a look at some of the more in-depth things like programming the HD500, as well as being able to use it in pedal board mode, which means you don't have to learn how to program it at all. The last section is all about the playing, and it's really about applying all the things we've learned into the framework of doing worship. There's talk about kind of watching the drummer's hands, different tips about how you can be more prepared as you show up for rehearsal, and potentially if you don't want to, not having to use a stand because of the types of practice habits we go over. There's also some stuff on kind of getting the most out of using Avium and just a range of great things so you can get the most out of your worship experience. The last thing I want to tell you about is some of the amazing interviews that are included in this book. As I was writing, I started thinking about the fact that like, you know what? I don't want to just share my content. I want to be able to reach out to some of the people that I've had the good fortune to know and go, hey, can you write about this thing? You know all about this. And then once I started doing that, I started reaching out to people I didn't know because they knew about things that had so much depth and capacity that really augmented the things that I knew tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Now, in terms of a thousandfold, what ended up happening is I ended up with this giant book that's filled with great content. The table of contents, 10 pages. The book itself, over 50,000 words. And the bundled DVD-ROM, over two hours of video content, including some backing tracks. I'm so excited about this book. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more information about the book, where you can buy it, table of contents, excerpts, people that are in the interviews, all sorts of great stuff, the blog as I continue to talk about some of these topics, and more, please visit worshipminded.com. Thank you so much, and God bless.